Um, alhamdulillah, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granting us the ease and the opportunity that we have this night, the 27th night, uh, before starting, just walking around the masjid earlier, uh, we've seen that the number of worshippers we have here is probably already, or if not close to, the 10,000 mark that we are trying to look at expanding the masjid to. The entire complex of the masjid is completely full to the degrees of our left of the masjid and the right and in front of us and all the way behind and even on the streets. And the cars are stretched all the way to the Bannex Bridge going to the northern section of my or northern part here which is just behind us and then on the left and right the cars are stretched as far as the eyes can see. We've actually had the security vehicles go around and try to monitor every car that is parked here and make sure that everyone's uh, vehicles and properties are kept safe. Security is all in the hands of Allah, but with every evidence, the number of worshippers that we have who have come here has actually even exceeded the numbers that we had hoped and planned for, especially for this year's Ramadan. It is a mercy from Allah. May Allah accept the ibadah of everyone that is here. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all our shortcomings. Please, as we're all in the masjid and we're all in this plane or on this space, in this space right now, the Anur Masjid or the complex, let us take time to make dua. Awalan, number one, make dua for yourselves. Make dua for your families. Make dua for your loved ones. Make dua for our nation, for this country, for Allah to keep us in peace. Make dua for our leaders, for Allah to guide them and for Allah to grant us good leaders. Make dua for the Muslim world. A lot of us have seen what has happened in Masjid Al-Aqsa as at yesterday. And we've seen that the level of oppression there still continues, even in Ramadan. But like somebody once said to me, Iman, faith, is born in Palestine. Because while attacks were going, bombs were going off, the Imam was leading Salah at Masjid Al-Aqsa and the worshippers were praying with bombs going off next to them. So we pray for them, for Allah to grant them peace and peace to all lands of the Muslims. Let us pray for one another. As brothers and as sisters, we should pray for one another. Let us remember our elderly, our scholars who have returned to Allah to make dua for them as well. And for anyone I haven't mentioned, remember to make dua still for them. This masjid, the brain behind its establishment, those who are seen to its affairs and it being run, the volunteers, the worshippers, even those who are probably paid to do whatever work that they are doing. It is a great task, it is a great job, but the fact that they are doing and sacrificing also put them in dua as well. If there are those who have certain characters that are wrong, may Allah help them and help all of us to better our character. And most importantly, make dua that Allah puts us all in Jannah together. That we are neighbors with one another in Jannah. That on the day of resurrection, all that has been done, all that we have tried to do, that Allah accepts it. The scholars used to say, pious predecessors used to say, that if they knew Allah had accepted one deed from them, it would have sufficed them to feel joy and happiness that that deed is accepted. We don't know if Allah has accepted our deeds. We are only trying and humbling ourselves and hoping 
that they are acceptable to him. A lot of us don't know if we will be here next year, if Ramadan will meet us next year. There are so many that returned to Allah. And the only time we heard about them is when a speech was made, oh, where is so and so? And then they said he has returned to Allah. I pray that a lot of us will meet many more to see many more Ramadans together. But if we do not, then let us seek Allah's help and pray to him to forgive us and raise us together in Jannah al-Firdaus al-A'la. Sincerely, we keep you all in dua. And let us keep ourselves in dua. From tonight, I know for a lot of people, after today, a lot will travel and a lot will begin to prepare for the Eid. So I bid you all goodness and I pray that Allah takes you to your destination safely and that if we do not meet again, you do remember us in your prayers. And if Allah has ordained that this is the final, and this is the, this is the final time that we meet, then let's keep each other in our du'as that Allah makes us to meet again with goodness. On a final note, there's a brother who his spouse or his wife has been sick for a number of years. He has been coming here and he only seeks for us to pray for them and to pray for the family and for Allah to heal them. So we pray may Allah heal them, heal his wife and grant him also the patience to bear the test. Subhanallah, it is, it is an honor. It is an honor to serve Allah. And when we do deeds, it is only out of the mercy of Allah that He has put us here to do whatever we have done. Allah would have made us to be anywhere else. Allah would have made us to be people who do not know Him. But Allah has made us to be His servants. Let us cherish that and let us put aside anything that would cause rancor, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan. If there is anyone that has been offended by anybody here, I plead with you to forgive them. I plead with you for the sake of Allah to forgive. And I plead with you that you also pray for them as well for Allah to aid them to rectify themselves. My dear brothers and sisters, we do not know how we will be before Allah. There is nobody that has a surety that Allah has accepted him or her. There is none that has gone and returned that will tell you that I saw or I have seen or I can confirm that so and so's deeds were accepted. A righteous scholar once said, if you look for me in paradise and you do not find me, then search for me in hellfire and ask Allah to forgive me. None knows whether their deeds have been accepted. So let us not say that as Ramadan is coming to an end, the things that we have done in Ramadan, the way that we were in Ramadan, we change. We stop being generous. We stop being kind and compassionate. We stop coming to the masjid. We stop doing good deeds of charity. We don't know if Allah has accepted this Ramadan. And Allah, that is enough to always tell ourselves that we must do more. We must work harder. So that whatever we come to Allah with, we can say, oh Allah, by your mercy, Grant us your paradise by your mercy. Not because we are most deserving, but because we worship you to the best of our ability, even when we were weak, even when we did not have the means, and even when we were, we were put in situations that we were not proud to act or speak in a way that was pleasing to you. Still, we pray to Allah that he accepts the deeds that we have done. So my dear brothers and sisters, don't change 
the good that you might be in this month of Ramadan, I pray Allah gives you the means to sustain it for the rest of your life till the time that you return to Him as well. Let whatever changes you make, let it be positive. Things that will help others to see the beauty of Islam and to also love this faith even better. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. And till again Allah permits us to see and meet with one another, I pray that Allah keeps you safe and keeps you in good health and keeps you well. قل قل هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته